What were you thinking? If I hadn't been there, you would have been dead by now. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. My legs just moved on their own when I see people in distress. I told you, it's almost impossible for a Quirkless to become a hero. Despite your sheer courage, it's still too dangerous. Even if you made it this time, there will only be pains and hopelessness on your path. It's not wrong to have a dream. Though without Quirk, you can't be a hero! <laughs> no! You shouldn't be disheartened this easily, Midoriya Izuku! Like All Might said, even you can't be a hero. You still have many other jobs to aim for! Right! It may not be a, like a direct route, but you can still be of help! It's too early to get down! At the moment, I covered myself in sweet dreams. Until the day I realized how distasteful this world can be. <laughs> no way! All are rejected? But why? I have no idea. Those police schools, hero innovation and engineering schools, even technician schools, they all rejected your resume. I am as hopeless as you are. <laughs> How could Hero Society came to this point? Featuring a footage of a quirkless boy running into a villain while heroes hampered in confusion. Here and right now, JPTV. Please welcome our special guest, Mr. Mitsudaira Minoru, Minister of Hero Law Enforcement Representative. Mr. Mitsudaira, as we are all... As we all see the topic about the footage of the incident in downtown spreading around SNS, we want to hear commentaries from the Ministry about the matter when the villain took a student as a hostage. There was this boy, who was reported to be a quirkless, rushed into the scene trying to rescue her, while others heroes seem to be unable to take any action. First of all, that may seem like an act of honorable bravery. However, we considered it a rather blatant obstacle for Hero's operation. Huh? You were saying that while there was no movement from Heroes at the scene, that boy's act was yet an obstacle. Hmm. Yes, I am considering that said quirkless boy jumped into the villain with a hostage in hand while he was using his quirk to ch while he was using his quirk to cause a turmoil. There were a number of heroes at the scene. It may look like they cannot handle the occurrence, but they, in fact, were able to limit the damage in an acceptable and controllable range to stall for further reinforcement according to our protocol. However, this boy's act does not only futilely put himself at risk, but also potentially increase the chance to aggravate the villain and intensify the damage. The worst case is that the safety of innocent surrounding people might also be compromised. People may deem that the heroes took no action on the scene, though, in fact, we're trying to limit the damage and thoroughly monitor the situation. And, as you can see, the crisis was smoothly ended by our symbol of peace, without any use of the boy's pointless deed. Our source also reported that the boy has also been applying into many hero schools and many other security agencies. He apparently wants to be a part of Hero's working field. Do you have any comment on this? Before we move on to the discussion, let's hear what Heroes at the scene had to say. That kid's butting in was stupid! He didn't even have a quirk? Like we didn't have enough problems there! There were quite some heroes there, and we were able to limit the affected area. He made me worry if the situation would be worsened. I did admire his bravery, but it was unnecessary and a bit rash considering the circumstances. This is not actually the first interference on hero operations. Several years ago, Tobita Tanjiro's deed also led to a severely injured case. What we are witnessing is an example of fancy obsession. We are in the world with lots of heroes that makes people yearn for being in a part of this dream job. Thus influence individuals of unrealistic delusion to do idiotic, irresponsible acts that may affect a vast number of people. To be a hero, one needs to learn propriety and receive proper trainings first. Using quirks without a license is no different than a villain. I personally don't think that this boy is suitable for a hero or any security jobs. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it all along. I... You can't be a hero. You can't be a hero. Minister of Hero Law Enforcement Representative. What's the meaning of that news? How could you let them broadcast such a thing? Did you even think about that kid's future? Please calm. We had no choice. But we did that out of necessity. Necessity? Yes, it's all for you, symbol of peace. We have been trying to hide the fact about your injury and your diminishing time of operation from public. It might be a little too harsh, but your sustained image is worth the cost for a kid's sacrifice. Your society needs to stand firm. To achieve that, the symbol of peace will have to be free from noticeable flaws, even the slightest one.
You are saying that because of me. The Ministry had to protect the Hero Society's image and rip that boy off his future? Please, understand for Hero Society and for yourself. Symbol of peace? I can't, even for a mere boy. <laughs> Why? Am I at fault just for being a quirkless? Is it wrong to have a dream? Is being born without a quirk a serious crime? That it rips someone off their right to dream? That kind of distorted society. Don't you think it is detestable? Of course I do! This kind of society where heroes talk about some pipe dreams. After all, they're just shameless hypocrites. I hate, 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 hate them all! Poor child. Hurt by deceitful people. How much have you been suffering? No one ever reached their hand to you, am I right? If you are thinking of throwing your life away, why don't you come with me? You can be whatever you dream of. Because I'm here with you. <sighs> now, how about we end it here? You, a bug of a game, you! Fear my bluff and go back already. Since then, I was bullied and mocked even harder by everyone. Fool, there were strangers spraying on our wall to make fun of. Mom is getting worn down by the stress. Since then, I was bullied and mocked even harder by everyone! There were strangers spraying on her wall to make fun of me! Mom is getting worn down by the stress! Think of it! I curse you all! I'm sorry, Mom. You must be terribly sad. It's tragic, right? I can see how this world pushed you to the brink. Uh, shh. Mr. Kuakiri, please take Tomura-kun away. I will stall them. Let's go! You? Who are you? Who would let you do that? <laughs> Two long-range attackers coming straight? Aren't you a bit too hasty? We have arrived! We have arrived! We have arrived. Damn! Time's up, Kurigiri! We won't let you run, Flea! <laughs> <laughs> Hectoplasm? Midnight? Smile, All Might. This is just the beginning. Uh, you are. The symbol of peace has been weakening. Bullshit. How could you say that with all his power, Sensei? No, it's just that we were underprepared. No worries, we still have plenty of time. Make the world shake with terror next time, Shigaraki Tomura. And to reach that... You? He is my special project. I can assure you of the power he possesses. Use him as you please. Nice to meet you, Tomura-senpai. It's been several weeks since the incident when villains attacked Yue, where it is known to be world's most secured place. There is still no hint of the missing two pro hero teachers' whereabouts. The police are trying their best to find the culprits. <sighs> I told you, didn't I? Don't listen to the radio during your missions. I'm sorry. I'm too obsessed with collecting information. Hero Killer, Stain. The cases conducted by him has been vastly attracting attention from society and heroes recently. His atrocious acts, as if they are the punishments for this disorganized society, are likely to be his sheer motivation, and they are at the level of insanity. Though he is hard to find, it's not beyond our abilities. What's unexpected was his reaction toward Tomura-kun's intention. A while after the attack in Yue, Sensei entrusted me as Tomura-kun's assistant. Despite quite a rocky relationship at the start, after some time, he finally saved me a mission. That is him, Hero Killer Stain. You fakes. <sighs> For the purge to create more just society. <sighs> it's my fault to think that you guys are interesting. Such a senseless, empty determination. <laughs> Tomer Kun's thought of destroying everything apparently conflicts with his ideals about heroism. And his abilities are a real deal. After some time, he eventually decided to cooperate, under a condition unforeseen even to me. You must become my aid. <laughs> the light in your eyes is clearly different from these guys. <sighs> the eyes filled with hatred yet vividly shine with some kind of determination. I want to know what's behind those murky eyes of yours. Sure, 
You can have him. You better show me something nice, Sensei's endorsed project. And that was the beginning of the long several weeks. After a while with him, I came to know that Hero Killer Stain, formerly Akaguro Chizome, is an embodiment of the ego of dissoluted punishing. He clings to his extreme ideology to redeem true heroes to the society worthy of them. The result of his obsession was that he was the one closest to my condition. I wonder what kind of determination this man, who went insane for his own ideology, is expecting to see from me. Boom! <laughs> the villain is gonna kill that boy! Someone call the heroes! Whoa! How lucky! I got a job and now this dumb brat of that hero couple came to me himself! Be it heroes or villains, there are too much of those who use their quirks for idiotic purposes. Better come to fix things once I'm done with the next hero. Now let's go? <gasps> what now, kid? You were the one who came to me at my hideout. Aren't you a hero's offspring? Take responsibility and entertain me more. Shut up! Father, mother, and you! You all like to do things just as you please! That's why bullshits happen everywhere! No? What's with kids these days? You brats like to blame everything. I just do what I want to. Take this as a souvenir for your next life. In this world, the ones who are at fault are those who fail their intentions, like your parents! <laughs> yes, and you as well. Huh? Who is this scrawny kid? <laughs> oh well, my old habit hardly changes. Deku's quirk number one, moving objects. Moves objects within eyesight regardless of the weight. Can affect two targets at the same time. <laughs> Just as I thought. <sighs> you have sufficient right. Take the kid. I'll handle him here. Roger that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Judging from him using knives and swords, he must be good at techniques. Damn! This guy's swift like a cockroach! His muscles are dense that my knives can't cut through. Even with his strength, he is quite slow. Nothing to be afraid of. It's the matter of time. <laughs> huh? A kid in hero uniform? I came here only for investigation after informed that there is a villain rampaging the city. It's a surprise to see you here, Blood Crimson Cape Hero Killer! Oh ho, he's your foe? Sorry, kid, this guy is mine to slaughter. Shut up, villains! Especially you, hero killer! I will avenge my brother! Remember, Ingenium is a man who will defeat you! If I'm not mistaken, that guy is Ida Tenya from 1A Class of UA, whom I met at USJ. Everyone's out of their minds. What's so important about heroes or villains? They're all <laughs> selfish people who never care about others! Go to hell, all of you! <laughs> Me! You too! You helped me just act like a hero, didn't you? Oh, poor you. Water hose, right? I remember them. They did die like heroes. Huh? huh? Mind reading quirk? Not quite something like that. Convenient, though it made me feel your pain. Quirk number two, reading touch. Read the thoughts of a person or object that is touched by the user, only capable of reading what they are thinking, or the object's short-term memories. Nonsense! How can you understand me? Yes, yes I do. Your bitterness and confusion. You don't know what is right or wrong anymore. Look down there. The world is spinning around, praising the age of heroes. No one even cares about the aftermaths on those who live behind like you. Villains who only put people in distress. And those heroes I might if we peel their outer skin off, what is left inside are people who only do what they want without caring if they would leave behind the pain of others. Everyone must be telling you the, don't cry, or your parents died honorably sort of things. Isn't that ridiculous? Only you have to suffer the consequence of others' deeds. The world wants us to smile, while we actually are crying. They tell you to smile, to stay strong, while you have to bear your torments alone. <laughs> I don't know. My chest hurts so badly as if it would kill me. Yet, I don't know what to do next. Please tell me what I should do! Poor you. Don't worry. Because I'm here. Let's change the world that takes our pain for granted. For the brightest smile of our future. <laughs> you mean... Ha ha ha! 
Oh, how about that? Only one punch and you're finished! Thanks, kid, for giving me the chance. <gasps> That's not bad! Your friend is going to get killed! Oh, Takoon, is it? Watch me. I'll show you the power to open the path to that future. Stimulant's reaction by 1%. <laughs> Quirk number 3. AFO. Absorber Occupy. Codename Deku. I'll be in your care from now on. Huh? You were pissed as your friend was crushed? Great timing! Let me pay you back for what you did earlier! Electrotherapy. <laughs> Ever heard of that? You can relieve pains by sending a mild electric current to your skin. What I did was sending one into your muscles. It stimulates your tissues greatly that they are torn apart. Inflammations and damages of a bodybuilder's muscles are way more painful than others. If your quirk increases muscle tissues to boost attack power, then what if those tissues are slowly simulated and torn up? Quark! <sighs> he can't even bear 1%. What a waste of time. <laughs> Only one, huh? I thought you would lose both of your legs like your brother. How pitiful. Don't blame me. It's your engine combustion that was impeded by electrostatic in the air, though. I have to thank you. People like you who let their own feelings and personal stuff lead their actions. They convinced me how rotten this hero society has become. <laughs> what are you implying? Joining the force with a villain to revenge your brother. Honorable, aren't you? Smile! Because of you, the name Indinium remains, as a hero who is willing to cooperate with a villain for the sake of vengeance. <laughs> because of the likes of you, I am assured! The society that praise ones like you deserves to fall! You are insane! <laughs> How strange! In my point of view, the world that makes those crying succumb to their fate is the one that's insane. Well, try your best struggling from now on, since you can't even walk. <laughs> Look at you, trash so miserably. Let's go. Crow heroes are coming. <sighs> no need you. Go alone. I need to carry on my duty. For my determination. For the just world. But you! You are the line between the truth of each era. You are the gray between good and evil. You have the right to continue. Gray? You're implying that I have some good in me? What kind of bad joke is that? Don't underestimate yourself. You are the gray that have the right to judge this world. You are the justice that discerns good from evil and prejudice. So carry on, and prove the world the true nature of those heroes. You are the only one that can succeed my determination. Go. So, keep looking at the world with those eyes that see the truth. His speech bothered me at the moment. Though soon after, Hero Killer was arrested, there were rumors that he entrusted his deranged determination to someone. In no time, it will be a great wave toward League of Villains. It's an utter failure. Sorry, I got carried away. I oh, and your sensei expected so much from you. But you, you went out of your way. Instead of giving Tomer a lesson, isn't this the other way around? Look! Help! It hurts! Please, no more! Look! So noisy. You should have done something with his vocal cord. Look! Help! It hurts! Please, no more! Look! Let me go! I don't want to die! Come on, I give you the chance to survive and even break free. Keep on fighting. It's just my specially created Nomu. You just have to defeat Fall. <laughs> that might not be as good as my lovely high ends, though you should come to work with me. <laughs> it's not that good. I still have many things to learn, and it can't be obtained solely in the lab. <laughs> well done! I'm so proud of you. Kotakun. Thank you very much, Deku. You brought another kid in? You don't expect from Tomura anymore? No, that's not it. That boy. He has something Tomura doesn't. He is an essential variable I'll need in the future. Hmm? And what exactly is that? More than his suppressed madness, which is as great as Tomura's. The thing that people around that boy will see in him and admire him for all their hearts. The power of a born leader. Who knows, maybe one day he will have more followers than I used to have in the past. Ugh. It's true that he asked me for more men, 
Look at Eliak's Kurogiri. So childish. He made me so much trouble. I'm sorry to hear that, though. Please be at ease. We can certainly continue the plan. Oh, I very much hope so, but... Despite assigning Shigaraki as a leader, in reality, there has been more attention on this kid. After recent arrests of Hero Killer Stain, there have been rumors spreading around the internet. The video clip, The Truth of Hero Killer, became a social controversial topic in no time. It caused ripples to those who agreed to his ideology and brought them together. However, the true successor? The battle in the city was recorded and distributed. It was inaudible, yet profoundly debated. The successor to Hero Killer is this man. Soon enough, the news spreaded like a wildfire and doom. Oh, so this is the successor they are talking about. You were younger than I thought. Hi, hi! I'm Toga! You must be the famous Daku! I can smell dangerous scent from you! So interesting! Can I stab you? Judging from the video clip, I know you're not some mundane kid. My name for now is Dobby. I'll be in your care, boss. Agreed! The first time I saw it, I knew you're the successor of Stain Determination! Please, let me join the League of Villain, please! Uh, sorry, but I'm not the leader here. Seen this, Deku, that? When did you become the leader, huh? Haven't you been out of your way, huh? Your sensei's important project? <laughs> Calm, both of you. Chigaraki Tomura, and you too, Deku Kud. Shut up! You are all annoying! You wanted to be the leader, so be it! It's true that Deku-kun said he would go after him, though is this really a good idea? Those two don't seem to get along. I know it. Deku-kun and Tomura are too contrasting. But the society has been much into Deku at this moment. As Tomura's guardian, and for the sake of his future, I might have to get rid of Deku-kun. I told you. I killed 20, it's my win. But you said a hero was counted as two points. Well, I killed two heroes and 19 more people. It's my win. You are being too fussy. Kurogiri, give me two soft drinks. Exercise has made me thirsty. Oh, what did you guys do? You look so close unlike before. Ah, you are still here, Mr. Broker. Good timing. Call those guys you have gathered tomorrow. It's time to begin our plan. You take this. Hmm? Huh? This is? Our plan for this time. Adjust it as you like. I'm leaving you in charge. <coughs> I see. Good plan, but there are some blind spots. In return for your trust, I will give you the result. Times greater than you would expected. I am looking forward to your good news, buddy. What happened with these two within such short time? <sighs> a few days later, at a valley. <coughs> are we all here? Is this the man in the rumor? My, my, he looks better than I thought. I thought you would look tougher. Aren't you around the same age as mine? Hey, hey, what's the meaning of this? I know we are short on men, but this isn't some kid's playground! Oh! What did you say again? You have any problem, you foul lizard? Stop it, Kotakun, and watch your mouth. Ooh, scary. He even has a modified human as his bodyguard. Our chief is really something, isn't he? Wait a minute, did we miss an important point? There's supposed to be ten of us, right? Am I counting it wrong? Oh, about that. I count Muscular and Moonfish out for the fact that they can't seem to follow the scheme. You mean we will go with just nine? <laughs> Such a crazy plan. No, we are good to go judging from our abilities. Mm, summer training camp? I will show you what a real training is like. Oh well, as a pawn, I will work to pay for your trust. Pawn? You are saying it wrong. We are no higher or lower than others. We are just some deranged people who are repressed by the society. We are people who are fused by mundanity. We are people who know too well about pains in life. So let's declare the world of our arrival. <clears throat> Villains attack! Villains attack! Five, six down, two approaching. They must realize I am the center of the gas. I wonder if this will really work. Why are you running? Come fight me like a man! Damn, if I have my gun with me, a kid like this... Hey, what do you think you were doing? I just bought that! Think, using it would only let your enemies know that short-range battle is your weak spot. Use this. Costume design department's work didn't meet my expectation, so I did a little adjustments. It will aid your quirk nicely. 
Gotcha! <laughs> Your quark gas enables you to emit poisonous gas and acknowledge you of any movement within. In other words, you can also adjust it as you like. Your gas is quite powerful from the beginning. Imagine if you can modify it into anything. How wicked can it be? This tool allows you to easily control the gas to gather and turn it into a form in your desired position. Just by inhaling it can make one faint. Imagine if they are hit by a thick mass of poison. Even wearing a gas mask won't help. Hey, hey, what the hell? Isn't this awesome? Pixie Bob, you and Ragdoll go find rest of the students. I and Tor will handle the villains here. <laughs> Help me. Kota? Are you okay? <laughs> Mandalay? Mandalay? Mandalay! What's that sound? Is that from a villain? Damn, if I find one, I will beat the hell out of them. Don't. We should avoid confrontation and find a way to gather everyone. Don't you give me orders! <sighs> oh well, you did a good job at estimating the time. Just as the little sheep told. Your part is pretty easy. As I said, just go have fun with them. I don't know if he said that because he knows about me, but this job doesn't seem to be as boring as I expected. It's been five minutes from the beginning. Seems like those who can escape the gas are starting to collide with our members. Say, Letting your guard down, assuming that uncertain location will make you hard to find. That makes your loophole wide open, am I right, pro heroes? Damn it! I can't move! What did he do? Object transformation, was it? You changed the trees into strong magnets, didn't you? Hmm, as expected from a UA teacher. You two are problematic, so I will need you to stay here. <laughs> it's true that you can stop us, but do not ever underestimate our students. They might not be official heroes yet. But they indeed are our golden eggs. They won't be defeated easily. I know. They are diamonds that will shine brightly as heroes one day. However, you know, diamonds, the higher the price they have, the clearer their defects are visible. The society you are protecting won't accept such flaws. How are you guys doing? First stage cleared. Good job. From the time, Mustard must have done his part. You may prepare to launch the fireworks. Roger! Don't you flee, you fire zombie! I brought them! Let me see what you get, Chief! <laughs> you? Ladies and gentlemen! Please witness the firework of our world refusal! Uh, what is that? The water bowl? <gasps> By this time, if the plan is going well, it must be almost over. Though, are you sure about this? You were the one making the plan. If it keeps going like this, that young man will get all the praises. Nah, it's fine if he goes out front himself. His success will give us reputation. Hmm, may I ask? Why did you come to trust Deku-kun all of a sudden? What happened back then? It's nothing. We only had a talk. I finally understand that he is my utter opposite. He is a perspective, the endeavor I lack of. On the other hand, he is sure on decisiveness. And has a vague standpoint. He will fulfill my holes, and I will fulfill his. In the end, there will be nothing that can stop us. Purple rain?! <gasps> this is... A massive amount of water that absorbed the poison gas and the smoke from a complete combustion. Only the gas alone would make you faint if inhaled. Raindrops with such concentration can't be anything but... Concentrate rain of poison?! <gasps> you... <laughs> Deku-kun serum doesn't make things way easier. He accurately predicted the situation. So adorable. Now I'll enjoy my meal. As a result of the attack on the summer training camp, the world comes to hear our voices. Three out of six pro heroes severely injured. The other three got kidnapped. 39 UA students, 18 from A class, were injured. I got kidnapped. All 20 students of B class were kidnapped. Great job, everyone. In return of your favor, let's party. Let's party. Let's party. Let's party. Cool. If it's this team, our dream of changing the society is... No. Huh? They are the ones Tomura chose. Though we share the same ideology, their intentions comply more with Tomura-kuns. We may be on the same side, but they are Tomura-kuns. We, too, have to find ours. People who know the pains, who hold the intention to step together. The people like me. What are you doing, Deku? Let's have fun! Yes, yes, I'm coming.
Following last month's hot topics of the attack on UA and the case of hero killers who terrify the society, the massacre at Shiyaki department store and the biggest mass kidnapping case, people are questioning, what is the society full of heroes doing? Up until now, there is yet any answer from UA. The media sure ain't taking it easy on us. So, how are you feeling? The students are off the danger list. Torasan's bones were crushed. As for my eyes, it's still unknown if I will be able to see again. <laughs> Ugh. I've been able to stop him back then! Oh no, you couldn't. You couldn't see him as a villain. No matter how much rage or how much time you had to remain in that form, you knew full well you couldn't fight him as a hero and a villain. <gasps> what did you say? You found the villain's basement? Principal, it might be true that I couldn't fight him as a hero and a villain. Still, his acts are hard to be overlooked. Next time I meet him, I will talk to him clearly. But here I am. Nowadays, it's hard to find people who still use manual method of taking notes. Mm, it's been my habit, though how was your experiment? <laughs> Don't underestimate a man in his 100s, kid. Besides, compared to mine, yours is way more interesting. Ho-ho! You gave one to Tomer while secretly keeping 20 for yourself. You sure are a bad kid sometimes. There were never enough specimens. You taught me yourself, remember? From an invisible quirk, frankly, I never thought you would be able to make it till this near-perfect point in such a short time. Sensei always say that nothing is useless if there is even a person who sees their worth. And I can't say it's near-perfect since I can only use 30% of its full power. Quirk number 3, AFO, Absorb for Occupy, Living Parasite. Liquid stated parasites in the carrier body boost their carrier's physical and recovery power by time. They can also process its cell division and transmit to targets to provide the boostings and allow the carrier to control the infected. They also give their carrier the target's quirk. The success rate is up to various conditions. Doctor. Hmm? Seems like they found Tomura Kun's location. That guy will definitely come this time. I will go greet him myself. What? How to destroy Hero Society. Seems like things are going as we please. <laughs> Where are they hiding? Answer me, Shigaraki Tomura! I hate you the most! <clears throat> you? Are you really Deku? It can't be! You were in the news! That your house was on fire, you didn't make it! Yeah, considering that, I did really die, but... Is it the right time for a chatter, villain lad? Now you call me a villain! I'd gladly fight you, but... <clears throat> Wait, you? Don't worry, Kachan. We will meet again. Bakuko boy! <sighs> you failed again. We can fight. If you are willing to ditch those lives you mean to save and come fight me, that is. I'd be gladly repay the favor. <gasps> what the hell are you doing? You got things needed to be done, right? Go friggin' ahead and carry out your duty. We will handle them here. Thanks, Endeavor. Hmm. And you. Thanks for taking a good care of my Shoto. Prepare to be toasted, you prick! <laughs> Such pleasure that the second strongest hero honors me like this. How careless of you paying attention only to Endeavor. <laughs> my fire and Mirko's kick barely made him any damage? His body must be heavily modified. <laughs> Is this some kind of a hero reunion party? I would have cried my eyes out if I were my old self. Well, this might not be a just fight considering the number. Are you prepared to be ganged up? Oh, right. The number is quite unfair. For you, I mean. <laughs> uh, those are the kidnapped children? <laughs> you! You heard a Deku! Fight me, jerk! <laughs> now, what are you gonna do, heroes? <sighs> heroes got lots of things to save, right? Show me what your pledge worths. How will you save people you vowed to save? It's time for you to prove the key factors are already here. Show the society your true selves, heroes. <clears throat> <sighs> this is bad. <gasps> 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 Villain Subjugation Supporting Team, Lemillion Reporting! <sighs> <sighs> mm, 
permeation, is it? One of the UA successor candidates, Togata Mirio. You utilize your power to seize the carriers and took them out just like that. No matter how strong they are, it's no use being caught from within. I didn't believe that the enemy was a mere kid until now that I witnessed him myself. This'll be the end! Your conspiracy won't work anymore! Conspiracy, huh? You talk like a superhero from some cartoons. Lemillion, is it? What a great name. Sounds like you'll be able to save million people, huh? How fancy. Say what you like, villain! But remember, the only ones who can turn words into reality are... HEROES! <laughs> How could you talk about such ideal when you don't really know anything? <laughs> Seventy years ago, when quirks weren't something that were broadly acceptable... What is this? There was a scientist who presented his theory to the government. They are called paranormal singularity theory and quirk transference and quirk transference for social e and quirk transference for social equity. For the society where everyone has their fair share of quirks that leads to an air of equity. The images and sounds are being sent straight into my head. However, what the government at that time did was belittling his idea and banishing it his society and banishing his and banishing the society and banishing the scientists from his career in society. In fact, they ripped off his project and secretly worked on the developing. As a result, the safety of quirk transmission operations from one to another is no better than a Russian roulette. Right! Mizu Daira Minoru is one of the board members of that damn project! Transferring my quirk to my son via the operation? Yes. We regret what we reported to the public, so we want to retaliate by accepting your son to the Best Hero Academy. Under one condition, you must undergo the operation to transfer your quirk to your son. As we all know that the minimum requirement of a hero is the possession of a quirk, you have the chance to make his longing dreams come true. The only question is, do you agree to this proposal? Yes, I do. And it failed! And it failed! The surgery had utter low success rate without no guarantee of it will come to fruition. What they actually want, what they actually want was her What they actually want was her as a consensual specimen. Doctor and Sensei tried their best to save her, but it was too late. Doctor and Sensei tried their best to save her, but it was too late. What you fail to protect is nothing more than a disgusting rot in society. What you do is just throwing your fist at those you condemn as villains! What about the gov? Have you ever done the same you've done to villains? No, just answer this simple question, Lemillion. By saving millions of people, does that not including Mom? Does that not include Midoriya Inko? <sighs> answer me, you fake heroes! <sighs> oh no! Boom! <laughs> that was close. S sorry Cut the crap! Whatever reasons he has, his faults are still legit! Don't be misled! Think, kid! Which are more important? The past lives that can't be helped or the ones in front of you? Right! Mm, darn, my body is... Let's end this, Deku! <laughs> kid! <laughs> You were too careless, Auntie. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> so easy. Team Terror, Shinzo Hitoshi, codename Acoustic. Team Terror, codename Gentle Criminal. How unfortunate. I know it's an emergency, but fighting a lady is really not my thing. What are you two doing here? I didn't call you. Watch your condition. Don't make us worry, boss. Ha <laughs> ha! Being an adolescent is to make mistakes. They are indeed true entertainments, just like this Darjeeling tea. How are those related, you old geezer? And why is Boss so messed up? How are those related, you old geezer? Why is Boss so messed up? Wait, what did you call my gentleman, you brat? Have you gone blind? <laughs> This is... What are you doing, Doctor? This is the order he left me. 
things have gone wrong, at least save you and Tomura Kun. Gone wrong? Wait, this means. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, uh, How does it feel to create two more terrific villains? <laughs> at last, you cannot help them till the end, symbol of peace. <laughs> Growing tiger cubs who are learning to hunt. If they are separated from their parents, they will mo they will be more likely to be fiercer. They will be more likely to be fiercer and they will be more likely to be fiercer and possess more loathing of humans. <laughs> you have made a huge mistake, All Might. It's true that you have one for all, but a container with fractures like you has reached its limit. Their crutches have been repeatedly robbed of. Let your wrath. Your anger be your fuel, my children, and go announce to this filthy world. It's your, it's now your turn. <sighs> <laughs> How could you talk about such ideal when you don't really know anything? <sighs> Seventy years ago, when quirks weren't something that were broadly acceptable. What is this? There was a scientist. Who presented his theory to the government? They are called paranormal singularity theory and quirk transference and quirk transference for social equity, for the society where everyone has their fair share of quirks that leads to an air of equity. The images and sounds are being sent straight into my head. However, what the government at that time did was belittling his idea and banishing the scientist from his career in society. In fact, they ripped off his project and secretly worked on the developing. As a result, the safety of quirk transmission operations from one to another is no better than a Russian roulette. Right! Mizu Daira Minoru is one of the board members of that damn project! Transferring my quirk to my son via the operation? Yes. We regret what we reported to the public, so we want to retaliate by accepting your son to the best hero academy. Under one condition, you must undergo the operation to transfer your quirk to your son. As we all know that the minimum requirement of a hero is the possession of a quirk. You have the chance to make his longing dreams come true. The only question is, do you agree to this proposal? Yes, I do. And it failed! The surgery had utter low success rate without no guarantee of it will come to fruition. What they actually want was her as a consensual specimen. Doctor and Sensei tried their best to save her, but it was too late! Doctor and Sensei tried their best to save her, but it was too late! What you fail to protect is nothing more than a disgusting, rotten society! What you do is just throwing your fists at those you condemn as villains! What about the Gov? Have you ever done the same you've done to villains? No, just answer this simple question, Lemillion. By saving millions of people, does that not include Mom? Does that not include Midoriya Inko? <sighs> answer me, you fake heroes! <sighs> Oh no! <laughs> that was close. S sorry. Cut the crap! Whatever reasons he has, his faults are still legit. Don't be misled. Think, kid. Which are more important? The past lives that can't be helped or the ones in front of you? Right! <laughs> Darn. My body is... Let's end this, Deku! <laughs> Kid! You were too careless, Auntie. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> so easy. Team Terror, Shinzo Hitoshi, codename Acoustic. Team Terror, codename Gentle Criminal. How unfortunate. I know it's an emergency, but fighting a lady is really not my thing. What are you two doing here? I didn't call you. Watch your condition. Don't make us worry, boss. Ha <laughs> ha! Being an adolescent is to make mistakes. They are indeed true entertainments. Just like this Darjeeling tea. How are those related, you old geezer? And why is Boss so messed up? Wait, what did you call my gentleman, you brat? Have you gone blind? <gasps> the, the sis! What are you doing, Doctor? This is the order he left me. Things have gone wrong, at least save you and Tomura Kun. Gone wrong? Wait, this means. How does it feel to create two more terrific villains? <laughs> At last, you cannot help them till the end, symbol of peace. 
growing tiger cubs who are learning to hunt. If they are separated from their parents, they'll be more likely to be fiercer and possess more loathing of humans. <laughs> you have made a huge mistake, All Might. It's true that you have one for all, but a container with fractures like you has reached its limit. Their crutches have been repeatedly robbed of. Let your wrath, your anger be your fuel, my children, and go announce to this filthy world. Soon after the battle in Kamino, the world has come to face its drastic changes. All Might's resignment from Hero's duty forced Hero Society to inevitably deal with flow of transformation. On the other hand, the loss of the origin of evil like All From One also led to fights for the new leader position of the Underworld. The world is spinning without direction. Despite being unable to define whether it was, busy, it was better or worse in the past, the current situation is clear that both sides need their new leader. So, isn't building partnership for a brand new source of power a must do? For us, at least. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a plea? If so, didn't you miss a please? These recent months, there are many changes in hero society. Yet those organizations oppressed by All For One have obviously begun to start a cold war. With you two being the center of their attention, you are the ones that would pass along the leadership. As we all know, not everyone agreed with this. You are now the target of many, and the key to the new era for all the organizations in the Underworld. Personally, I think joining our forces would only benefit both of us. Huh? That was an excuse from the one who blew up Compress's arm and almost killed our magnet girl? We might killed you a useless human while yesterday, but that doesn't sound like a worthy trait for us. Don't cocky prick! Just because we keep quiet doesn't mean you can- <laughs> The fundamental of business is to think one step ahead, and to make discreet plans, right? Placing a little stake for a big return. Tosaki-san sure is more like a businessman than I thought. Would you mind playing a poker game with us? Mary, you are the dealer. Having sights of the overall image and clear future is a quality of a leader. It's quite natural for a king to be, don't you think? Let's get to the point. We were discussing this for an apparent reason. You want this, right? Our card. Hmm. Change. The method of rapidly creating nomus we have is what many pursue. Recently, those who call themselves Meta Liberation Army and Human Rights sent us their proposals as well. Though, we only discuss this with Shie Hasekai. Hasekai. Change, please. Quirk Destroying Bullet, the weapon many villains keep their eyes on. Be it organizations or some thugs, they are all intrigued. No matter how many mediums you employ to hide its origin, it's not that had to... It's not that hard to investigate. Now things are easier than you have known. An army of modified humans, whose strength and quirk are boosted powerful, and are quirk-destroying bullets. Together, they will certainly make a firm foundation for our future. No one will be able to defeat us. Villains or heroes! Huh. You rationalize it however you like. What will we get in return when you get our reputation? We should both gain benefits, that's the essential. The ingredient that allows you to mop the ingredient that allows you to monopolize and manufacturing the bullet. Isn't revealing the cards of both sides the basic rule of trust and cooperating business? You are going to negotiate with those Yakuza? Yes, they are the ones sending us proposal. Even with the incident with Compress's arms and Magni's injuries, this is what we have been anticipating. Anticipating? What do you mean, Izuku-kun? Months ago. At Kamino, I led our capability to create special nomus to be broadly witnessed. That's to have all villains learn about us, specifically the Shiei Hisaikai. There have been a bunch of quirk destroying bullets selling in black markets recently. It's not very hard to investigate their source. It's a long existing Yakuza group, Shiei Hisaikai. Despite their impressive potential, it is said that they are still a prototype. Ah, I see. Um, excuse me, Prof. Could you please explain the details, because I have no idea what you are talking about! Idiot! It means there is someone who's been giving them the fun! Right. By prototype, it means there will be more developments. From what I reckon, to produce one lot of those bullets, a huge amount of fun is needed. And how do you think an old-school Yakuza group attained it, unless from an external factor? Wait, aren't they just a fallen group of villains that is now under the government's watch? Who would invest in the likes of them? The government himself. Hmm? Hmm? From what I look into, their former leader seems to have a secret relationship with the authority, since it is impossible to distribute their product to the market without getting caught when you are being watched. 
Though the government also have the project on human experience to creating supreme heroes, so they cannot give too much support. That's why Chisaki has to come to us, to use our name to find more supporters. Plus, if we join our hands with the Shiei Hisaikai, the sli that Sly Fox will never let our method of creating powerful modified humans slip. Oh, that guy? Mizudaya Mineru? That's right! We are the one who will have it all! So you are going to cooperate with the Yakuza to outflank Mizudaira? What a fuss. I don't like that idea. Only until we learn about their ingredient to produce the bullets. Anyway, Izuku-kun, is your body going to be okay? You haven't fully recovered from when you sneaked into Tartarus weeks ago, right? No worries. It's just that I took the security system of Tartarus too lightly. Though, if that's to pay for knowing Sensei's location, and releasing some of the prisoners, then it's worth it. So please, give me your hand, Tomura-kun. I know it doesn't sound very nice to you, but... I swear that we will be the ones who get the last laugh. In return of your coverage, I can't tell you the source of the ingredient, but... What about the completed product? You must be able to analyze its components from this without a hitch, am I right? <laughs> this guy... He won't give us the info, instead of handing the completed bullets. He knows that even we are able to learn about the components. We won't be able to knock it off anyway, doesn't he? Hmm. Stop it, Aerie! Uh, please help me! You? Not only weaponries, but you also do human trafficking, huh? Nice taste, Mr. Yakuza. This is my daughter. She's been acting up lately. I just scolded her, must still be scared by it. I apologize to you guys. Hey, what are you waiting for? Take her back to her room. Isn't she a lovely one? <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing, you brat? Give Ari back! <laughs> Ari, is it? Such a lovely name. My name's Deku. I'm having a discussion with your father. Let's play later when we are finished, okay? I know many kids of your age. I'll bring them to play with you next time. This man, so warm, he's different from others. Shisaki-san, we, League of Villains, are pleased to create a partnership with Shiei Hasaikai. Let's end this era of sickles called heroes together. <coughs> At least we share the same notion. No, I must say, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Tomura-kun, I will take full responsibility, so please allow a little change of plans. I won't ask why, but as a leader, I must order you. Don't die. Keep in mind that you are a trump card. Don't worry, since we are the ones to do it. <laughs> How funny. Destiny does really get us humans good. From the memory I got from Erichon. Save million people, huh? I see. So you came to an agreement. Just as what you envisioned. I'll leave the planning and gathering of the Force to you. Just as what you envisioned. I'll leave the planning and gathering the Force to you. Yes, I won't let it fail like the Kamino incident. I underestimate how wicked he could be. If we get him, the League of Villains will lose their pillar and brain. We won't let him slip this time. Uh, you, you- Amazing! This is way more than I ever imagined. In just a few days, you turned our reservatives into supreme soldiers! <coughs> it would be a lot better if you could find more decent specimens. Sorry about that. You see, we can't make much movements, though I will make sure we provide you as many as possible. Overhaul! What is it? What happened? Heroes and the police are gathering here! Apart from my and Mimic, all eight bullet members are gone! <sighs> Don't tell me you. It's an emergency, isn't it? We can fight here, I guess. The problem is, will you have enough time to flee? Plus, seems like our guest is coming faster than we thought. <laughs> I won't let you run, Chisaki! Of course. You too, Deku. I won't let you get away this time. Ah, oh, so you're still clinging onto your virtuous hero role, a million. <laughs> well, I do want to have a rematch, but for you, he must be more fitting. <clears throat> Here I come for you, you shitty nerd! What a surprise. Too bad I won't be your human sandbag anymore, Kachan. I'll leave Deku to you, Baku Kokun! I'll deal with Chisaki! Don't you give me orders! This nerd is mine to crush anyway! <laughs> <laughs> this powerful blast! 
and the millions punch it through those two away. Could it be? <sighs> huh. No! Hado Senpai! Ryukyu san! Ha ha ha! What can you do now, floating like this? It's actually not my thing, but you wouldn't succumb if we didn't push this far. Now! Time to surrender, Deku! Ha ha ha. So you can do group work now. It's not like you at all, Kachan. Nice armlet you have there. Judging from the design. Let me guess. David Shield, is it? Huh? No, despite that lousy design, it's too efficient to be some amateur's work. I see. Melissa's shield, correct? The pair design with the millions with that power. <laughs> As I guessed, he couldn't make up his mind, could he? One for all. I guess that armlet's function is to transmit some bits of All Might's power. Seen your quirk earlier. Hmm. Around 20%, was it? Not bad. How long could it last, though? 20 minutes? 10 minutes? Oh, <laughs> no. He's not in that good condition to provide you two that long. So five minutes at most, am I right? There is no use realizing that! You are done here! <laughs> come on, Kachan, you've never been good at bluffing. It might be true that if I lose here, everything will come to an end. If there is only me, that is. <laughs> Ready, Froppy? I couldn't stand to let ladies in the battlefield, so I invited them out. Haru-san, why?! I'm not actually fond of blood, but you can try. Quiet. If you move an inch or try to transform, I'll make her blow up her own head. Who the hell are these people? Tomaki-san? Haru-san? Forget it! You guys are so slow that Katsuma might be faster. What are you looking at? I can't believe that Ma's headed boss told us to take care of six Yakuza members. Then rescue some girl I don't even know. So boring. Can I go back first? We can't, Big Sis. Big Brother told us this is an important mission, remember? Children? Give me back my airy! This is bad! Run, kids! <laughs> Team Terror, Shimano Katsuma, Nomotype Fall, codename Titan. You are next! Team Terror, Shimano Mahoro, Nomotype Fall, codename Echidna. A monster? What is this? I couldn't feel any force that came through! There's not even shadow. An illusion? Ah! <laughs> How was it? I might be an illusion, but if I'm concentrating out, some of them may come to reality. Where are they coming from? What are the team above and the police doing? Team B, do you copy? This is an emergency. Anyone? I don't know. <laughs> Shout all you want. Nobody can hear it anyway. I've severed all the networks. He even got to see Gentle's nice shots as an extra! Team Terror, La Brava. I'll leave the rest to you, sweeper lad. Roger. I won't let any single one pass through. At least we gotta take this guy! <sighs> are you kidding? This is freaking underground! Where are these from? Huh? He could get away safely from my ambush? He is a real deal, like you said, Chief. His sense of fighting has been outstanding since childhood. He must became a nasty one now with that auxiliary equipment. I'd have been doomed without a sniper of the same level as Simo Haya like you. Team Terror, Lady Nagant. Enough flattery. The bomb set around this area will explode in five minutes. I will cover you while you take the target out. Y you You planned for this all along? Actually, we could have cooperated well if your method of experiment went another way. I do agree with your notion, though. I'd say... How you do your business disgusts me. You should build the power with your own hands, you know. How many do you think have been sacrificed on the path to that power? At least I'll carry on your will, then. Wait and see how the world it will be changed. If you survive until then. No, I've come to rescue you, Eri-chan. <laughs> Deku! Oh, you finally managed to come. Deku! Get away from Eri-chan! Stop! Uh, Eri chan but This man! He kept his promise! He promised me he'd come to save me and he did! Despite his scary look, he has a very warm heart and he kept his promise! So don't you hurt him! <gasps> Such a shame. You were so miserably far from the concept of hero. No matter what you said, you turned your back to her once. And that's a heartbreaking betrayal. I'll tell you something. If you couldn't even save a girl, you shouldn't call yourself a hero. 
At least not for Airy Chan. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, uh, the sound! This mansion is collapsing! <laughs> Don't you think you can get away? No, stop! What are you doing, you jerk? Harry Chan is with him. She might get hit too. God damn it, Deku, wait! You really have given up. Your dream you used to cling on to? You really have given up your dream to become a hero! Why are you saying this now? I will never be able to get to that point anymore, since this world has long been refusing us. You might not understand now. <laughs> we will definitely meet again soon, and it will be the last time. It's the time this phony world with so-called heroes comes to an end. Until then, don't die, Bakugo Kotsuki. Togata Mirio. That was, thus again, the end of everything. Yet for some time, it's an overture of the greatness to come. To which direction will this distorted story lead to in the end? What happened? Villains attack? Another liberation army cleared. You pricks! Brats like you think you can change anything with your action! To our ideology, you are just... Ideology, huh? To him, that kind of nonsense is a child's play. What matters is a thing that is going to happen. <laughs> the tide of this disordered world is about to change. Mercenary villain based, East Asia. What do you think you are doing? This is not what we dealt. Not what we dealt, huh? <laughs> Look what you have done. We only agreed to assess fights against heroes. Using our sole invention to cause in residential area is a way off. Now who went out of the way, geezer? It's true that you were a part of his team. Still, you were just kids. Don't ever think too little of us adults. Jeez, this is really far from the future Deku set about. Like this, you... Hmm? You have no right to the next stage. Human Rights Headquarters, Oceon. Hmm, the sunset sky and the scent of chamomile indeed suits the breeze of Oceon. What are you planning? What do you think a small group of villains like yours can do? Bam, bam, bam. You see, I myself am not fond of violence, so I brought her as my bodyguard. Oh, come on, don't be so furious. But never mind, since as I reckon, you guys are really not needed for the future to come that Deku Ku is about to create. Heroes from China just contacted us, requesting urgent reinforcement. Ukraine and India too, they keep calling us. Recall them all, mobilize every hero we can, reach now. This is a grave emergency. Sorry for coming here in your office. Just want to make sure that you are still alive. It's Dobby from the League of Villains! <laughs> Fascinating. Though I haven't yet used to its newly acquired power. But isn't this far better than half cold, half hot? <gasps> you are! <laughs> ah, this is what I long to see. Remember this face, right? Now it's worth believing Deku and turning myself to be that little princess's lab rat. This is the face of the faulty product you made, remember? Freeze first, then burn. If Shoto were daring enough, he should have done this. Never been this thankful to mom's jeans until today. <laughs> hey, don't you die yet. Today's climax hasn't yet begun. <laughs> The show is about to start. Nothing can stop us now. <laughs> that jerk. What is he planning to do? Everyone. Long ago, the definition of human had died out. This recent age was full of disarray and chaos. We have passed through the conjoint stories of a puzzled era up until this day. The turmoil was set in order by a group of people who was praised as the representatives of justice. The rays of hope for those who yearn for salvation. Hero was born after the harsh time, and turned into the gleaming symbol admired by all. However, is that really the truth? The pure white as hero, the pitch black as villains, the distorted reality that was utilized to fulfill the desire to rule, the word justice they exploited to conceal the truth. If so-called hero is a virtue, then what exactly is this? <laughs> what the hell? What you are seeing is a glimpse of the abomination the society tries to hinder. To preserve the ideal society, the government created their puppets to solve problems for them and put things in orders. 
Uh, isn't that Minister of Hero Law Enforcement re representative Mizutaira? And those who want to be in the limelight, they seize as the foolish place grip. What are you doing? Turn that damn broadcast off! We can't! The signal has been overridden! They are whom you all call heroes. Just the government's dogs with sole duty to clean up after their filthy acts! <gasps> as if they are the saviors, but they actually are just a group of people wearing the suit with the license to act violently against those with different standpoints. How many lives have been sacrificed for this huge play? Not only the villains, but also civilians. Just to cast a spotlight on those attention seekers. They said this is the time we have enough heroes, though how many are truly suited to be given such title? Sir, this is bad! What now? It's not only broadcasting in Japan, sir. The hell? It's being sent all over the world! Now the world has witnessed the content! Ugh! How could you, you shitty brat? Wake up, people of the Age of the Fraud. This distorted truth has been neglected for far too long. Those who are truly in need of help, on the other hand, are overlooked and discarded. Is this how this age should be? I will repeat it again. Wake up, those who seek the truth! Are you going to go with the tide of this age of disgrace? Or are you going to change it? Like the old time, when hero is not a title everyone can acquire, as it is reserved only for ones who genuinely sacrifice themselves to fight the unjust. If the right deed is to make them be condemned as villains, then so be it! It's the freedom to think and turn their fantasy into reality is the essence of us villains! We won't succumb to some phony laws! We will shout to this world of freedom sky! The trumpet shall be blown! From now on, League of Villains and Team Terror declare war on this world! For all helpless villains, we shall be your sword that punish the unjust of this world, and a shield for those who plead and ask for salvation. Do come to us if you share the same motive. What is this all of a sudden? The villains are... Impossible! They're interfering with the signal coming in here. Shut up, villains! Quiet! We have located their signal, sir. Where? It, it is above. They are up above our headquarter. Hmm. Ta-da! It's all starting here. Please proceed, your majesty. It won't be the same anymore. This is my gift for you, partner. <laughs> Thus began the Age of Chaos. <laughs>